with Make Your Day. Fellow Toastmasters, welcome guests, honored dignitaries. I want to ask you to take a minute and think about your day so far. <coughs> you got up this morning, got ready to come here, some of you went to work, and you drove to AG Toastmasters, and that's where you're sitting now. And I'd like to ask, how many of you, by a show of hands, are having a bad day? <laughs> <laughs> All right, not too many. And that's in part because being in Toastmasters, we're helping ourselves and we're helping other people. And when you're doing that, it's hard to have a negative attitude. But sometimes that still slips in. Now, I don't naturally have a positive attitude. I grew up with parents that used to say things like, if you keep laughing, you'll end up crying. <laughs> And sure enough, that turned out to be true. <laughs> and they also kind of believed that bad things happen to people who don't think bad things happen. And so they were always ready for the worst. Now, I worked hard to come up with a positive attitude. I believe that it gives me more energy, it allows me to take more risks in life, and it just generally makes for a better day. But a while back, I found myself waking up every morning going, oh my gosh, I've got to go to work again. I can't believe I'm going to work. And I did this for several weeks. And even on the weekend, it was like, oh, Monday. I've got to go back to work on Monday. And so one morning, I woke up, and I sat up in bed and went, oh my gosh, I've got to go to work. Oh, I've got to go to work again today. And a little voice in my head said, how's that working for you? <laughs> and I realized it wasn't working real well for me. And that was all it took to get me back on track. Those little voices, they're helpful when they show up. I'm going to take you through a scenario. I'm going to take you through my day with a negative attitude and my day with a positive attitude. And you can decide how you're going to make your day. Now in scenario one, I woke up this morning, and I had to get up early, and I was so tired. And I had to get to the bakery to pick up stuff for Fat Tuesday. Just what I need, Fat Tuesday. <laughs> First thing I had to do was walk the dog. So we get dressed, and you got to hurry up, because it's still a puppy. And so you're walking the dog, and that skunk smell. Oh my gosh, the weather gets nice, and the skunks are out already. I come home, and now i got to pack my diet lunch. So I'm packing all this red food, and I'm going to pick up donuts. What's the sense in this? How stupid. I do a mile on the treadmill, just barely dragging myself through it. And then I get dressed, and oh, these pants are so tight, and I'm going to have donuts. I get to the bakery, and there's a long line. I pay for the things. i got to carry out this stuff, and I left early. But by the time I got through traffic and got all these bags for Toastmasters and everything else up the steps, it was already 8 o'clock. <sighs> what a way to start the day. Now, if you'll join me in taking a deep breath. <sighs> then let go of that. <laughs> and let me tell you about the other way that I started my day. I set the alarm so I could wake up early today because I knew I had a lot to do. And coming to Toastmasters was one of the things I was looking forward to. So I got up and got to take our puppy for a walk to do my warm-up before my exercise. And that skunk smell, well, we didn't see him and we didn't run into him, so there's a plus. <laughs> the puppy finished his business halfway around the block, so I got back to the house early, packed a lunch, because as soon as these donuts are over, I'm back on track. Got downstairs, got on the treadmill, and I'm doing my mile and watching my soap opera all at the same time. <laughs> Stopped at the bakery, somebody held the door for me, got to see a bunch of happy people because we're all there getting punches. <laughs> got to work and made it on time. Got things set up, got to give out stuff to people, and got to my Toastmasters. Now the other thing I shared on the negative side 
was that I had a $500 car repair over the weekend. When I shared this on the positive side, we all agreed the car repairs happen to people. And I have got a convertible, so a couple more months and the top goes down. I also shared this morning that one of the things that happened this weekend is I celebrated a birthday. And it's sad because my mother's been gone three years. So I had a birthday without my mom. And it kind of made it a funky day. You know, when people said, how was your birthday? I said, mm, a little off kilter. But I also realized that I got to have that woman in my life for 16 years longer than she got to have her mother. She got to see all of her grandchildren born, and she got to know them well. And I also learned that although that woman doesn't have, didn't have a very positive attitude and said things like, you know, if you keep laughing, you'll wind up crying, <laughs> that she loved me and her grandchildren very much. And I didn't learn that for a long time because it wasn't until I got a positive attitude that I could see that different people express love in different ways. So I know that when I have a positive attitude, life is good. It's good for me and it's good for the people around me. And I get to make that choice every day. Am I going to have a good day or am I going to have a bad day? So now it's your turn to make your day.